Yo, what up, noob tubers? I'm about to draft a snack, so you can call me Scoobers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just came up with that. I'm a mad lyricist. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, hit that like and subscribe button, and I might never make that kind of uh, joke again. Uh, yeah. Pick one, back one. What do we got here? Got a Blood Tithe Harvester versus an Abraid. I'm just going to take the single colored card here. Can't go wrong with an Abraid first pick. Um, yeah, a couple more days of this, and then we're going to have some delicious vintage cube, uh, starting on the 22nd, so. Another, a little bit less than a week of some more ranked, um, what format is this? Crimson Vow. And then, uh, vintage cube for probably a little while. Probably a long time. So. Get your stockings ready, friends, because we're going to get some Vintage Cube in the near future. But anyways, let's take a first pick, a braid over the Harvester, see what we can go from there. Pretty good second pick follow-up. It is a little bit awkward, yes, to take an abrade and take an, a, take an a Parasitic Grasp now after passing a Harvester, but I think that's the right choice. Uh, otherwise, we have like a Dominating Vamp. Well, no, I wouldn't pick Dominating Vampire. The real second choice here is like Grasp versus Statue. Uh, Wolf Strike, uh, Minister, whatever, whatever. Yeah, Crusp is the best card here. Although Statue is the safer option and is still a very good card, but this is what they call the old pass cut. Um, you pass a good like black red card or whatever, and then you start taking all of the good black and red cards. As we get a third pick, Bleed Dry, not a bad follow up. Uh, great pack still. Well, not surprising it's third pick, but this is a higher quality pack than you usually see, is what I meant to say. Knife, Spore Crawler, Epicure, Anger, Bleed Dry, Lantern Bearer, Retribution, Stalker. Pretty easy though, right? Just to Bleed Dry and move on to the next. Into a Diagraph Scavenger, I'm thinking here. This card has just overperformed every single time. Trades up often enough, gives you some nice life. Uh, and exiling cards in the graveyard is actually quite relevant in the format. Yeah, Scavenger I think is just better than Traveler. Easy pick, keeps us in black for now. As we now can delve out a little bit away from the black of red if we want to, I think Skull Scab fifth pick is probably a decent signal overtaking Scavenger number two. Not that I like passing the Scavenger, but seeing a Scab there is... Uh, I think a fine choice. Yeah, let's do that. Into... Yeah, I guess Wolf Strike is maybe the best card? I don't know. I like this card a lot, but I've come down on it. Just because I'd rather have a removal spell that always will deal damage versus one that requires a creature, you know? Uh, Celebrant's not a bad choice here. Scattered Thoughts also okay. I think for now, I'm going to take the Celebrant over the Scattered Thoughts. I think Thoughts are pretty easy to pick up overall. And good two drops are mm, maybe not super hard to come by, but uh, not as easy to, to get as you would want. Finding Geist versus Socialite. Let's stay in the black right now. Finding Geist is probably better if we ended up in blue-black, but uh, we don't know what we're doing right now, right? We could still just be red-black vampire, so Socialite's a clear pickup for me. Okay, and now I will take the Stitched Assistant here over, say, Desperate Farmer. I think Farmer's okay, um, but this is more of a signal, I think. And, you know, we already have one good blue card that we were passed to us, so... Stay open, take the Stitch. Uh, okay. I'll take an Evolving Wilds. Yeah, I mean, we could always just, like, splash a Braid, or... This is the first pack, so we have plenty of opportunity to find other good cards and other colors. In fact, if you watched yesterday's, last night's video, um, you'll recall I, I stayed super open and drafted this nice Grixis rare deck, so seems like a fine pick over the binding. That is a very late traveling minister. Is that worth taking now over Ragged Recluse? If I end up in red-black, the Recluse is decent, but again, I think we're just going to stay open since we're only locked into black right now, and Minister is, I think, a pretty good signal. I don't think this is any kind of signal. This was the pack that was stacked, had a bunch of good cards in it. I hate Fleeting Spirit. This card has underperformed every single time. I think I'd rather just take the first Ancestral Anger. 
Okay, all of these are playable depending on uh, what route we want to go. We have a couple more blue cards than white, so let's take another blue card here. And in all of my blue decks, I'm always happy to play a Cradle of Safety. Mm, ambush is not something you need to take early. Spirit is whatever. Investigator's Journal. That is not a card that I want to first pick. Is there a card here that I want to first pick? I guess the best card is probably just the Ballista Watcher. Kind of sad. Fill of the Grave is also decent if I wanted to take a blue card instead of a red card. Um, yuck. Yeah, it's probably just Ballista Watcher. Card has been very, very good. Not the card I necessarily want to first pick out of pack number two. Oh boy, everybody, look, it's Curse of Hospitality. Yay! How good is this Catapult fodder here? We're not very good right now. We have a Scavenger that triggers it. And that's it. Yikes, this pack is bad, huh? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh, man, I think I might just want to take like another Blood Petal Celebrant here. Because I don't think the fodder is going to do any good. Yeah, let's take the Celebrant over fodder, over curse. Blech. Garbage. By invitation only? Is that worth taking? I think it might be. I mean, I don't. It's not some crazy bomb, but it is a decent value card. And what else am I taking here? Like desperate farmer, retrieval scab. This is another scenario. Let's just uh, stay open. Take the rare. Okay, we can take the Markov purifier now. Maybe we were black white this entire time. I'm gonna want to pick up a blood fountain and probably some number of. Uh, like courier bats, gluttonous guest would be ma amazing, but yeah, let's take the purifier, see what happens, huh? Mm, spiders are the best card in the pack, but second best is probably the infantry, so sure, why not? Maybe we were black white all along. Hey, could have had a second journal. I actually don't mind journal in the black white grindy deck, but I'd rather have another minister here. We might even wheel the first one, right? Perfect. Panic bystander is nice over this infantry. All right. So I think we're we found ourselves a nice little lane. Gluttonous guest over resistance squad very easily. I think. Yeah. Guest is just too good. Could still splash the abrade, but it looks like we're gonna have enough removal that that's not gonna be a necessity. I'm a little bit short of playables uh, right now, but that's because we did kind of make a pivot. Um, but let's see if we can get that uh, Investigator's Journal on the wheel. Didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't care for Paladin. This is not the right deck for Basher, so I guess I'll just take the Flyer. But none of these cards are all that impressive. Kindly Ancestor's good. So what a pointed discussion, but I think we'd rather have Little Creature right here. Uh, actually, is that even true? I have nine creatures. Yeah, we probably still want the Ancestor over the card draw. I think we're more likely to see a, uh... Discussion later on in the draft, though. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll take the Shield Basher. Might not even run it, we'll see. So just the Abrade is a potential splash right now. I'm not going to run two Shield Bashers, sorry. Yeah, I'll need to pick up uh, a decent number of playables in pack three, but I don't think this is a bad decision. Torrens. I guess I take that and splash it. It's certainly good enough. I have an Evolving Wilds right now. It wouldn't be hard to get an Heirloom. What am I losing then? A Heron of Hope, a Traveling Minister, a Grizzly Ritual? 
That's probably okay. Yeah, we'll take the Torrens. I don't love it, but I think it's good enough. Ill-tempered loner. As he quickly does a check on his red cards once more. Damn. I want it, but I think we're probably just going to take like another scavenger here. Yeah, scavenger's good enough. Another parasitic grasp over Sigarda's imprisonment. Okay. I think I'm actually going to end up cutting the shield basher and go more grindy. Would really... Okay, that's good. Courier bat is one of the cards we're kind of looking for. Something that can uh, give us some value in the late game. I need a blood fountain too. I'm really sad I don't have one of those yet. And at this rate, we might not actually pick one up. Let's take the ritual here over just a random 2 2. There's still a blessed bolt in the pack and a weaver, but that's okay. No big deal. I guess we're just taking a 3 3 for 3. I need, I want to get an eighth pick, Blood Fountain, please. Why don't you do this? All right, Traveling Minister it is. Uh, not great. What the heck? Pick 8 Grasp? What is going on? Okay. I guess I will be playing these Shield Bashers then. What's the worst card in my deck right now? Piercing Light, I guess, since we have so much other early removal. Yeah, let's just run both Shield Bashers then. We'll go like this. Wield the Minister and the Heron of Hope is gross. I mean, Heron's too good. I have three Traveling Ministers right now and a bunch of other life gain. I wish I had more Heron, but... I guess now maybe Rallier's the cut? Or Socialite? Maybe the Socialite's the 4-drop that doesn't fit? Another Griff Rider. Another Militia Rallier. I don't even think we want those. Hmm. Strange draft, man. I think we're going to cut this Militia Rally and replace it with this other kindly ancestor, too. Another piercing light that we don't need. Ah, uh, Torrens, I didn't get enough fixing for you. Just the Evolving Wilds, so I'd have to run, like... I mean, probably I'd have to run, like, two forests. I think I'm going to go for consistency... Here. I don't think we need Torrens because of how powerful our deck already looks. Look at our removal, too. Three Grasps, a Bleed Dry, a Wrath, and a Grizzly Ritual. Yeah, I think I'd rather just stick to my game plan and maybe just run another Griff Rider after all. Is my creature count six. I mean, creature count's very high already. Could also just run another Piercing Light. But flyers are always good when you have, like, three traveling ministers, especially ones that can train, so. This looks good to me. Um, hmm. How are we going to split our mana? Almost want to go nine, seven in favor of white here, huh? The, the issue is that the grasps are kind of double black. If you're like if you're not targeting a human, you have to have double black. But I guess that's okay. Nine seven. And looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, let's ship it. Let's go. Sorry. Mama Num's throwing me a text. Gotta message her back. 
So yeah, as I was saying though, uh, we do have Vintage Cube coming up next week. I know a lot of people have been uh, clamoring for that. You can bet your bottoms that I will be playing the Vintage Cube. As soon as we get that available. <laughs> How are we doing here? Uh, on the draw with a removal.hand, sure. We needed a blood fountain so badly, I don't even know how many we saw. Maybe not any during the draft? If we did, they were all early on. Still gonna go ahead and just run out the minister. I don't know if I have enough win cons in this deck is the biggest issue. Like, I might be able to kill most things, but... I get a recluse, okay. I don't think we're gonna bother grasping that end of turn. There's not much of a need to. Save it for maybe post-wrath shenaniganery. Mono black right now. Sure, and we'll offer a trade. Maybe they have their own scavenger. They have nothing? Alright. Let's eat the recluse. Nom nom nom. Gain more life. I don't care if they kill this in response. That's fine. What do they do? Bleed it dry? Sure. You make my zombie bleed its blood. Aim for the head! Exile two cards. Alright, well, grasp and a land are gone. It's annoying. I doubt they're going to have two aim for the head, but they could have a mind leech ghoul, so we'll hold the land. Go for the infantry. Alright, no bleed dry or anything, hopefully. Nice. If they let the traveling minister trigger resolve, then they don't have a removal spell here. That's fine. Mm, I'm gonna guess they're missing a color, but it's not impossible to think they could be mono black. We'll go. We are certainly bolstering our life total, if nothing else. Ah, the butt man. Ah, that's annoying. Guess I don't really want to trade. They have a good triple block on me. Aha, there's their second color. Alright, so green, black, butts. Yeah, the blood fountain we needed, and we didn't get that point of discussion back on the wheel. Those were both pretty important, it feels like. Dormant Grove. Well, that's not a bad draw. Flyer can start doing some work here, hopefully. It's not going to be the easiest thing to level that up, though. So I'd have to attack with Ancestor, which I don't really want to do into those right now. Uh-oh. 
It's starting to get a little bit dicey now, isn't it? So what I, I'm going to do here, I guess, is double pump the Ancestor and attack with both of these. If they want to kill the Ancestor now, they have to lose both their 3-3 zombies, which I think I'm okay with. We could even Invitation if they double block. Invitation for 2 now. Sack both my Ministers and keep the 3-2, but I don't think that's what we want to do. I mean, look at our life total right now, right? We have a lot of wiggle room. Alright, Mariner. They didn't want to flip their grove yet, which they have to do next turn. I don't think three damage to any of those is going to be very relevant, is it? <laughs> Alright, so we want to pump the shield breaker once, and then we can pump the rider once. And then we still get a train activation on our Griff. At 47. I guess I probably should have given something lifelink there, because I flipped their raider for them. So if they don't play a creature, their grove is going to transform. That's annoying. That's a lot of damage, too. Nine, ten, eleven, fourteen damage. I go to thirty-three. Wait, fourteen? How much did I say? Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, fourteen damage. All right. Sure. <laughs> Two cards left in their hand, one card left in their hand. Alright, well, let's fire off the Wrath now, I guess. Could wait one more turn if I wanted to get super greedy. No, that's probably not right, though, since they have the uh, fodder that gets to flip, so... Let's go ahead and Wrath for... Infinite. They will get a 2-2 out of the deal, but... What are you going to do? I mean, if they just play a 6-6 six, six, now, I'm going to lose. That's not a 6-6. Six, six. Hey, that's a good draw. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to play the Purifier. Play the land. Grasp their Snarling Wolf, which is effectively just a 3-3, three, three, and then we can draw a card at the end of the turn. Nice. Play this pre-combat in case they have a removal spell. Play our rider, pass the turn, draw another card. Awesome. Alright. Ooh, the fountain. See, that's what I needed. Blood Fountain would let this deck grind out so much harder than it already does. Uh, that's probably going to be a little bit too slow for them, though. Yeah, they're not going to be able to cast much here, so. Land, catapult, sure. Good draw. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just grasp the 2-2. Two -two. That lets us get in for four this turn. We can play the Gluttonous Guest, draw a card at end of turn off Purifier. We're also going to flip the Bystander and draw. Nice. Too much pressure. We 
We certainly gained a lot of life this game. <laughs> That ain't good enough. That's certainly not good enough. Alright. Didn't even need to, but... Right click attack, all GG's. And that was just game one! Ugh. Grind is real. Did you go next? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think all the games are going to go that smoothly, but we do have a lot of removal, right? Three Parasitic Grasps, Bleed Dry, Wrath, Grizzly Ritual. Probably something else I'm forgetting about. Um, but we're missing some big payoff cards. Like, we have some of the smaller payoffs, but I don't have that, like, one oomph card that we would really like to have. Or, like I said, more grind. We just have that courier bat. And I think that's about it. Not saying this deck is bad. A deck with this much removal can, can beat anything, of course, but... All right, uh... <sighs> Not great, but I can keep this on the play, because um, very baseline, we have 2 mana 2-2 two, two into hopefully a turn 4 Heron, even if we just draw planes and not a Swamp. But of course we will hit, because we're champions. You're going to give some bangs to my bystander. Alright, plus one life. Hello, little Wrath friend. Arena tells me that they have Undying Malice in their hand. Ragged Recluse and a pass. Ooh. They didn't even want to play anymore. They missed a land drop and said, no thank you. That was a pretty early concede. But, uh... Well, I guess I got... <laughs> I guess I got the fast game that I wanted. <laughs> uh. Game one was a little bit too long. Game two was a little bit too short. We want a nice little like, middle ground where a game is played, but it's not that long. How about that? <laughs> mm. Okay. Go next. Looks good. Turn one minister, turn two wilds with the grasp, and go from there. Hello! The spider! How dare you. Two mana 2-3 two, is too good. It's cheating. Three mana pass now. Alright, let's go grab our Swamp. And I think I'm okay to go ahead and attack in for one here. And just play out the kindly. I don't really care if they counter this. Sure. Although Syncopate's slightly annoying. We actually wanted them to mill a creature here so we could uh, eat it with the Scavenger immediately. Ew. That's not very good. Mm. Well, I guess I get a, I'm going to play out my Death Toucher. Now I'll start gaining life instead of poking in for one. Oh, of course. Of course! They would mill now the Binding Geist. So they get to neuter my scavenger. Still attack in for four. Let's troll. You got me. We are going to need to find some of our removal as the opponent effectively drew four cards there. Alright, so I'm going to need to go gluttonous guest into 
pitch the ancestor, hopefully hit a land, and then hopefully hit a land after that. Okay, there's one. No, I don't think we're going to attack for one. I think we're going to sit it. Nice mulch there from the opponent. We'll see if they go for the uh, the lantern on the oddity. Alright, we'll go ahead and soak up some damage. Take one instead of four. Okay, Wrath would be great here. But land isn't terrible. We have to kill the oddity since they can just ultimate it next turn. Probably going to give flying to their hunter, put me on a two turn clock, yes. Not quite dead, but pretty close. Gab yeah, can get back mulch, although I doubt they're going to be doing that. Let's see. I can Heron gain two, go to seven, but I lose to any interaction on my flyer. Actually, that's not true. We have the blood. Well, let's discard the shield basher first. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We don't need to do this. The heron actually gains us a bunch of life here, so we're not quite dead. Gain two, and then sacking a blood actually gains me two life as well. So I can effectively go up to 11 here. The biggest problem I see is that even if I draw Bleed Dry, because we have so many uh, planes versus... Um, versus Swamps, it's not actually a great out. Another Parasitic Grasp. Alright, now yeah, take seven. Go to two. Another Spider. Uh, so, do I need to discard a Grasp, then? I guess I probably need to, huh? Look for something. Also don't have double black or any targets for that. That. <laughs> Another Grasp. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. They have two cards in their hand. Could get back the kindly. Or I could just put the... Hmm. Man, these freaking uncastable double black cards. I mean, I can Parasitic Grasp my own Traveling Minister, which is kind of funny, but... So I can go to 6, then gain 3, go to 9, chump that, block that. We're still not in a great spot. So I can also go like this. Oh, actually, I'm going to go to 10 here, aren't I? Okay, go to 10. Well, they can double block with their Vile Spawn Spider, can't they? No, that's not good then. We gotta wait until we hit another black source. So we'll get back scavenger this turn and say go. They milled another binding guys. That's not as bad now. I wonder if they just make a bunch of 1-1 tokens. Sure. Turns off our hair and gaining a bunch of life later. Alright, so we can... Pump in front of that, bounce in front of that, bounce in front of that, go to four. Still looking for Wrath. Finally found the second black source, okay. 
Yeah, we're not dying yet. We can eat their oddity out of their graveyard. Gain two, go, or sorry, gain three, go to seven. Go to nine. I can actually go ahead and attack in here, I think. Gain two. Go to eleven. All right. Oh my god, they milled their wedding invitation, which would have killed me. We're holding. That's not a good attack, right? I can just go like this. Okay, I guess they're gonna make a bunch of one ones or something. I'm confused. Oh man, I can't kill that in response because I don't have double black. Actually, they only have three creatures in their graveyard. Yeah, they're not even doing it. Six. Pass. Mill two spell or two cards. They're at four cards left in their deck. Okay. This is fine. So I can go for a grasp on a spider. Gain four. Block, block, trade. Go to three. They can make a bunch of one ones now, which I think they have to do. Okay. Ah! <sighs> Sucks. Uh, let's see. I can gain two, go to five, gain two, go to seven, grasp, gain, go to eleven, block, and die. Not quite good enough then, huh? So I guess the Heron has to block the Flourishing Hunter this time. Damn. Actually had outs here. Crazy. A block. Bounce. Eat. Gain four. Go to four. We could draw Wrath and deck them. That's our out. Wrath decks. Come on. Wrath wins. 1 out of 18. Let's do it. 1 out of 18. Does that work if I draw Bleed Dry? I don't think so. I need to gain a life here. Damn. Good game. Ah! That sucks, we just... <laughs> so many turns they had a 7-7 seven, seven flyer and we were able to survive for so long. They had one card left in their deck. We had outs. Also, man, if we had hit a second black source a little bit earlier, we might have also had a chance. It's a good game, though. GG's. Mmm. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, no. Maybe there was a better line I could have taken.
well, the biggest, man, the biggest tilt was that they milled that uh, Binding Geist the turn after I played my my uh, Scavenger. That was the worst part of it. Good game, though. Just need to draw a little bit more oomph. On the play here. All right, well, we need to find another land, but this is a good enough hand to keep, certainly. Ah, uh, I really need to find another land. Hopefully we don't just brick, get mana screwed out. <clears throat> OP on the minister plan. Uh-oh. Okay. I've got a lot of three drops in hand. Yikes. I think we're just going to grasp that right now before they can gain any more life from it, too. Oh, this sucks. Three draw steps, no land, but the opponent's not doing anything over there, so... I guess that's good. Let's get the flyer online, then. They have to have something for on five, right? Infestation expert, sure. Ay, 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 ay. Another no land. All right, flyers are the plan. Flyers are the big plan. Wonder if they have like some wolf strikes or something in their hand. <sighs> if they don't kill a flyer this turn though, or play a reach creature, then I'm gonna feel pretty confident. Yep. Take it all. Okay, that's okay. Mm, I'm guessing they have a removal spell then for my... Uh, probably have like a... Uh... Well, they could have the actual plus three plus three on tap trick too, but maybe it's just a fierce retribution, huh? I think we're going to lead on Heron as another flyer, and we're doing this pre-combat so that we can gain an extra life. And this is just an attack all. Double train. I'm assuming they have a removal spell here, though. With five mana, they only played a three drop, so... Yep, that's fine. Alright, a bunch of trading goes on. We still have two flyers, though. Biggest concern is if they just play, like, a worm here. Then I guess I still lose. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a cigar as imprisonment or whatever, so... That's a pretty scary one. My other option that turn was to infantry on the Griff Rider, pump it up with a minister and attack in for six. Not sure if that was better or not. Feels like if we hit our land like a turn sooner, we would have just killed them with our flyers. This might be another game where we need to draw our, uh... Dang. Actually, no, Bleed Dry works too, doesn't it? But we don't have double black. These last two games, I've needed to draw, uh... Bleed Dry or <laughs> Wrath. Okay, sure. Well, that's gonna end the game very quickly. 
And they added mana with it too. So they're going to have four mana post-combat. Yeah, no blocks. What you got? Wolf Strike on my Scavenger, that's fine. Land is fine. They have one card left, but even if we draw Wrath now, the Sunrise is just going to kill us. <laughs> oh, do you have plus two? Oh, I was going to say, do you have plus two plus two as well? That would suck. Take seven here. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is probably my only way to win. Kill the flyer now. They still have three life gain, though. Available. Or, sorry, five life gain. I mean, and then the Sunrise can just gain a bunch of life, too. So we're probably going to just need to dig for... Uh, exactly our Wrath and then still lose to Sunrise value. Sure. Mm-hmm. They're probably going to go plus one, plus one now, is my guess. Yeah. Alright, Wrath or Bust. That ain't it. One redraw. One redraw. Oh! I mean, we're st again, we're still dead to these, but maybe if they rat... No, that's good enough. That is sadly good enough. And that also flips their Dormant Grove next turn. If they had bricked that turn, there was like a small chance. I think. Oh, they could have ordered the triggers. So they were hoping to draw a card here. They were hoping to put a counter on their wolf and then, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not technically dead. But we're in very rough shape. And Sportback Wolf was a great top deck. Mm. Says the guy who drew his one outer. But remember, we did get screwed at the beginning of the game. That's a free roll attack with 3-6, might as well, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll take go to 2. I don't know what I'm hoping to draw, because Sunrise is a beast. Guess we enchant this. Say go? Yeah. Who's gonna beat a sun? Oh, now they have trampled death touch. Yeah, that's good enough. 
I mean, I have a lot of life gain there, but... Trampled Death Touch is insane. So I gain three. I go to five, take four. I could put the Purifier here as well, because I only get to kill one creature. It feels like I might need the Purifier, huh? Ah, this is just so brutal. Glorious Sunrise is nuts. And they had to have the Worm that one turn for my Flyers. Ugh. Hmm. See if they kill the Purifier... So I probably need to draw a bleed, but then how do I gain a life next turn? Because I assume they're killing the gluttonous guest, so yeah, never mind. Let's just gain max life. They'll probably put the purifier in the front. I'm gonna gain five, go to seven, take four, go to three. Gain a life here, go back up to four. Ah, that'll do her. GG's. Uh, sunrise is just way too good, huh? Damn, that could have went very differently. Stumbled on our third land drop. Then they were able to stabilize with Worm, which we didn't have an answer for. We only, I guess we only have one answer to the Worm in our deck, though. Like, bleed dry, right? Hmm. I oh, know, I guess we have Grizzly Ritual too, but we need to get to six mana. Yeah. Need a couple things to swing our way, and they did not. And then Glorious Anthem just said, ha ha ha. You lose, sucker. All right, two and two, but we can do this. Our deck is capable, goddammit, and so am I. Both the games we lost were... Well, I guess the, the first game we lost was definitely a, a lot more interesting. The one where we were fighting it versus blue-green. They were close to self-milling themselves out. Oh, we just couldn't find an answer to the goddamn 7-7 seven, seven flyer quick enough. And then that game, the lands needed to swing our way just a little bit sooner. So, that's haven't necessarily been bad games. First loss was great. Bought ourselves a lot of time. Second loss wasn't so good, but eh. At least it's better than that other game we played where the opponent conceded on turn three because <laughs> they didn't have... Oh, they didn't sack wild, so they're looking for land. They probably have a second in their hand. But they're looking for, like, a third. Better they just forgot. Hmm. Okay. That was strange for a moment. We're gonna go with Ancestor here over Rider. One, we don't have a way to train this immediately, but two, if uh, they don't do anything here, then the uh, bystander can potentially flip. Okay, well, I guess this is the way to make it flip then, huh? Kill their socialite. Gain three. Attack for four. Gain another two. Flip our minister, or whatever, bystander. I don't know what's going on with the border of this thing. It looks weird. Journal. They're gonna immediately draw? Oh, man. This is one way for us to lose. I've got the current pressure, but... Eight lands and how many spells? Four spells? Not ideal. Alright, 
Alright, well at least they don't have a blessed bolt end of turn to kill my Griff Rider, it looks like. This card's land. Don't do this to me. Don't do a screw into a flood. Grizzly ritual? Okay. That's fine. Adamant will there for the game. GG. Well, it's a spell, so I guess it's a start. And once again, we do have a pretty big life buffer at least, but... They have many more cards than I do, and an access to uh, many more cards afterwards, so... Despite being at 30 and them at 5, my confidence levels are really low. Okay, 3-3 three, three for 3. 1-1 one, one for 1. Ass? Ah! <laughs> God damn it, why? Nine lands, five spells. And no blood activation end of turn. That is exactly what that is. Hope. But I'm guessing at this point they've probably found a removal spell, given that they don't didn't do anything else. Whoa, they didn't! Are you actually saying there's a goddamn chance? Why are they not digging deeper for a removal spell then? I'm so confused. That's crazy. I mean, maybe they don't have any Blessed Bolts that they can draw, or a Braids, but that's very greedy not to have dug deeper. Again, no Blood Activation. What is their hand? Like a Bloody Betrayal and an Exploit card or something? I, no, they have five cards now. What is happening? Take it. I don't think I'm... Well, I guess... No. no. I don't want to double block in case they have like a sure strike. All of my creatures are lethal, so... We'll take the hit. I seriously have no idea what's going on. Hey, look what they're finally doing. More blood. Okay. This card's a Ballista Watcher. They have nothing but spells in their hand. Help? Hmm. 
I mean, this is kind of intense right now, but they could also just be dead. Okay. That doesn't save them. They still need a, a removal spell then. Which they could have. If they have a two mana removal spell, they can kill one of the flyers. They would have to sack the Stencia to kill the la the other one, but that would that would probably win them the game. Oh, now they have too many permanents. They messed up. They need to sack their blood right now. No? Okay. Now I have two lethal flyers. I mean, there are combinations of cards with the mana that they have. But I will go to combat. A braid and a uh, bolt or something? Oh, wow. Wait. So they did mess up. Oh, wait. No, they had to play their land to cast Vengeance. Ah, they were just short. That's what happened. They needed to play the land, oh, so they should have attacked with, uh, more, maybe? Maybe if they attack with the 1-1, one, one, I block it? I guess they were really thinking that I would block the, uh, the 3-3, three, three. so... By not blocking, I denied them their, uh... Their, uh... Permanent going to the graveyard. Maybe that saved me. Whew! Alright, more griffriders.com. Hello, hello. We keep drawing like the same hands, it feels like. Kitty cat! Oh, I hate being on the draw and the opponent plays a cat geist, especially when you don't have a two drop, but like if they just go blessed bolt here, yeah. It just feels so bad. Like this is this is what happens sometimes when you're on the draw. It's just the worst feeling in the world. Still just gonna run out the kindly. Hope they don't have another removal spell. Binding Geist, sure. Um. attack and like grasp it's not even that good I could I guess I'll just play out the Griff Rider and say go I mean the kindly ancestor still blocks the cat geist if they attack even if they give it minus O or minus two minus O right sure Take three. Yeah. Annoying. Hmm. Starting to fall a little bit behind here. I think I probably should grasp this turn. And then ritual the celebrants next turn. So I'll take four, I'll go to fifteen. It's okay. Back and tour, yeah, that's good. Sure. Off my life linkers, whatever. Go ahead and just ritual the celebrants. Yep, I'll take two. 
I'd rather take two than uh, take uh, the other mound and give them a card. I'm going to play out the last land here so I can double spell. They can already syncopate both of these, so it doesn't matter which one I lead with. Scattered Thoughts ping me for two, yep. Oh, come on. So maybe I should have led on the other sequence. Mm, that's gross. I guess I didn't think about card draw in the syncopate. <laughs> All right. I wonder if they just pass again. Because if they have any number of instants or sorceries, that's a good play. Feels like. This card's land. Belligerent guest, sure. Error, sure. Alright, let's go digging. Lead dry. I guess I have to cast a spell right now. Yeah. If I don't do this now, it flips to night, and then they can potentially deal a little bit more damage to me somehow. Or rather, not somehow, by casting just any non-creature spells. Yikes. Those are really good draws right now. Hmm. Been to land and a reckless. Yeah, if this was Heron of Hope instead of Griff Rider, I think we were looking actually kind of okay. Alright, let's chump the guest. Get our ancestor in the graveyard. Sure, that's fine. Scavenger's not bad. Get to eat their cat geist. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think I give it lifelink. It would only be two life. That's assuming the scavenger lives anyways. Okay. So we're gonna take at least, what, two damage this turn? Get another blood token. They have three cards left in their hands. That's not bad. Alright. Kill the three one, I guess. Gain three. Go back up to nine. We're gonna take minimum two damage next turn, maybe a little bit more, but. This, that wasn't a bad draw, because what we might be able to do is, like, grind them out. We want them to use all their blood, for sure. Like, cycle their last blood token, then play, like, a Cruel Witness or something, and then we draw Wrath. Like, that's a legitimate shot to victory. They could also just have a counter in their hand, and it'd be all irrelevant, but... Okay... I guess I'm going to uh, upkeep Grasp their Flame Breather. They're going to chill of the grave their own creature in response. I like it. To draw a card and ping me for one. Alright. No! Oh, I actually hold on to this because I have blood production. I can draw like Gluttonous Guest and it would be much better just to have the land in my hand than the negligible thinning of one card. 
That will probably do our... Yeah, they had too many card draw spells. There are five cards left in their library. Like, I have 19. They went through so much more of the deck. I, I would have to draw Wrath here and then into something. Uh, good game. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Well, I think this deck deserves maybe a little bit better than... What did we go? Three and three? Felt like the losses we took were kind of just unfortunate draws, I, I guess? I don't know. The first loss was a good grindy game where we had a ton of time, where we bought ourselves a ton of time, and we needed to find the Bleed Dry or the Invitation or the Grizzly, and we didn't. Uh, the second loss, we lost to... First, we missed our third land drop, and then they played Glorious Sunrise, even after we top-decked the Wrath. And then that loss there, yeah, they just drew 15 more cards than I did, so... Good beats! Uh, I thought this deck was pretty solid just because of the removal quality. I did mention that it was lacking some, uh, like, oomph. Like, the power level of creatures there was kind of low, but our removal was good. So, just got beat by not only uh, extra value, right, because of the, like, cards like uh, Glorious Sunrise, but then all of the card draw, so we weren't able to keep up, uh, but just by one for one but... Good deck, I thought. Um, yeah, not much to say. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will bring some more Crimson Vow drafts for the next few days. And then come a week's time, Vintage Cube. We'll see you later.